Noreen here with another episode of What's for Dinner. Tonight we're going to do a leftover makeover. Remember that chili that Rick made the other day? Well, I'm going to use it tonight in a chili mac bake casserole. So let's see what goes in this. Super simple. Okay, I have prepared three cups of dry pasta, elbow macaroni, whatever you want, whatever you got on hand, rotini. Don't use spaghetti, but this is cooked macaroni, and I used three cups of dry. This came right out of my jar here. We're going to use one can of nacho cheese sauce, and that's a 15 ounce can. And then I'm going to use this container of leftover chili from Sunday. So let's throw this together. I think this is going to be really good. All right, let's see. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our pasta. Our macaroni and I am using my friendly favorite kitchen helper the aluminum pan and I buy these at Sam's Club you can get these in packages of uh, I don't know 25 I think and they're really cheap and then we're gonna take our nacho cheese and I had a spatula here somewhere there it is Get as much out of there as you can. I mean, that's that's pretty good. And then go to switch back to my wooden spoon. And I was just, you know, this is our first time having this, and I just thought I'd bring you along for the ride. Um, I was thinking what I could do that was different with the uh, the leftover chili, and I thought about all the things I had in my pantry cupboard. And um, this kind of was uh, my brainchild for this. I kind of talked about it for a couple of days. And there were some things that were voted down. Like, I thought it might be nice to put crushed uh, tortilla chips on top, and everybody said, no, let's not do that. So we're not doing that. But this smells really good, because this nacho cheese has uh, all kinds of seasonings and spices in it. And just mix it up real well. And that nacho cheese, I usually keep a couple of cans of that in the cupboard because, you know, it's useful and you never know when you want to play the nachos, you know, when watching the game or, or NASCAR. Rick loves NASCAR. Okay. And he loves Notre Dame. All right. Now this uh, has just been sitting out on the counter. So my idea was I was just going to kind of spread this on top of the macaroni thusly and spread it out and get it in all of the corners And their dogs are whining because I made them go outside while I did my video since the other night they were so rude. Okay, and now I grated an entire 8 ounce bar of sharp cheddar cheese. We may not use the entire bar, but shredded cheese will not go to waste in my house. And I'm hoping that some of you have had a chance to execute this chili because it's some fine chili. I know that uh, Yankee Prepper made some, and I was happy to know that. So I'm anxious to know if anybody tried it and how they liked it because Rick was really pleased after we uploaded the video and all the lovely comments that you made. And by the way, Thank you to everyone who left nice messages about my haircut. Uh, it's nice to hear that it looks nice because it took me a long time to decide to cut my hair because I've had it long for a very long time. Okay, that's it. We're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes until it starts to bubble. I'm going to check it at 20 minutes and see how it looks. And we're going to go from there. Let's put it in the oven. There we go.
I'll be back in a little while. All right, it's been about 30 minutes and let's take a look at this. It smells positively delicious. Oh, look oh, at that. Wow. Look at that. You can tell me that doesn't look wonderful. I am gonna let this cool for about five minutes so that it just kind of settles and thickens up a little. So I'll be right back and you know what time it is. It's time to fix your plate because I know you're hungry. So I'll be okay, right let's back. Let's cut into this. Oh yeah, just the way I had hoped it would be. Look at that. That's lovely. The chili is kind of sunk down into the macaroni and it's mixed with that nacho cheese and awesome. There you have it. We don't know what to call this, but I'm, I'm going with chili macaroni bake. So there you have it, leftover makeover chili macaroni bake. It's delicious, it smells delicious, it looks delicious. I hope you try this, and I hope you enjoy it. And until next time, see ya!